Hi there, my name is Pez Javahari and I'm a Group Product Manager on the SQL Server Business Intelligence team and I'm excited today to be showing you some of the new features of PowerView in our SQL Server 2012 RC0 that you can download today. You may remember a demo that I did for CTP3 uh, around car sales branch management uh, and I'm pretty much going to do the exact same demo but I'm going to highlight some of the new capabilities that we have in RC0. As you can see, the Chrome looks a lot different. We've really polished up the user interface. We've uh, you know, done some fine tuning of the experience of what it looks like to come in and begin using the product uh, to make it that much more uh, use attractive for people to be able to jump right in and get at the information that they need. Here, I'm looking at recreating pretty much the same demo that I did before. So I'm going to create my report. I've got uh, my table of information presented as cards. Uh, I want to look at the type of cards that I have and how uh, they've been selling. So let me quickly change that into a bar chart. Um, I'm also going to add uh, the sales amount for the very for a certain time period. So let me go ahead and add that in there. So very quickly, just like before, uh, I can add information from the semantic model and make it very interactive from the get-go. So by selecting the type of car, you notice that the sales and the type of cars that I have automatically change. Uh, I can select other items and there we go and we're already interacting with the data and it was only a, f a matter of a clicks. Let me show you some of the things that we've added. So here what I'm going to do now is I'm going to sort by cumulative sales descending or ascending right within the interface. So again, within a click or two, you can get access the information that you need and change the shape of that information. Uh, I want to filter this information because I've got a lot of time periods here. So what I want to do is just filter some of this out. And you notice in the filters pane, we now have filtering the view, which is the canvas that you see here. This is now what we call a view. Or I can filter this specific chart, so exactly the items that I'm using to display that chart. What I'm going to do is, is select quarter. I want to display everything except for 2006. So let me quickly go ahead and do that. And voila. I've automatically filtered this information. Let me get rid of the filter pane, and there we go. Very quick, very seamless. I'm able to get the information that I need and begin manipulating it right away. Now, another thing that I want to do is use some of this information and build another view. So let me go ahead and copy this. And what I'm going to do is go ahead and insert another view. And just like that, we've got a brand new view to begin working with. Let me paste that chart back in. And here I'm going to go create that bubble chart that we had used previously. And I'm going to do that by quickly changing this view to a scatter. And let me go ahead and add margin and sales growth year over year. And we've got a very uh, simple view like we had last time. I'm going to add quarter onto the play axis. And you notice that on the axes, we've done a, a little bit of work here. So you can now add items to identify what color things are going to be. Um, as well as you know the play axis of what you've seen before, which I'm adding the time dimension to and so on. So we've added a lot more information for you to be able to work with. And you can title by uh, a number of items as well. The other thing that I want to do is I want to bring over this chart and, and use it as a basis <coughs> for my gas prices. So let me go ahead and copy that over. And let me swap out the sales price amount for average gas prices. So very quickly, very easily, I'm able to create multiple views now. So I don't have to keep changing items on a single view. Uh, and I can reuse objects by copy and pasting, um, being able to manipulate that within the canvas, uh, being able to uh, manipulate, work with the items, and so on. So again, doing a lot more to make it very easily and seamless for your, for your users to be able to start interacting with the data, all using the power of the semantic model right directly within PowerView. I'm going to go ahead and create one more view. And on this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add my demographic information, create this as a tile. And inside of that, I'm going to add my product data. So very quickly and easily, I'm able to drag and drop, add information into, into the uh, view, and work with the information to make it a very, uh, very simple but effective briefing book, if you will, of information I want my users to, to understand and share, all because all of this is within SharePoint. Now when I go and look at this in reading mode, I can f flip back through the different views 
And when I go into full screen mode, you'll notice that you've got the same capability, full interactivity. It just takes up the majority of the screen, so it's presentation ready at all times. And I can bring up the view sorter and flip back and forth that way as well. My call to action for you is to download RC0. Get going with uh, PowerView and let us know what you think. Um, once again, my name is Pez Javahari. It's been my pleasure uh, walking you through some of these new features.